Hey, 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 let's get into this, let's get into this, let's get into this. Um, I'm not going to be before y'all long, happy Sunday, hope everyone enjoy their Sunday, and be blessed, and stay safe. But let's get into Jess Jazz, so Jess Jazz did a video of her, um, I have the clips of, um, of her running out the, not really running, but asking her daughter to come home and stuff like that, and her daughter running off with her backpack. Um, to go be with this 13 year old boy and to come to find out that the mom allegedly, the, the boy mom allegedly stayed in some kind of um, building for a criminal activity basically and then people be doing all kind of stuff and it's not no nice place to live, it's a bad building or whatever um, and then she almost got arrested because she went to the woman house after she know the woman having a um, harassment charges against her so i don't understand why she went over there but she went over there trying to get trying to fight for her daughter but if you knew your daughter wasn't going to leave with you at the, um, the store what makes you think she was going to leave with you when you went over to the woman um building that didn't make no sense that was bad judgment to me because you already knew that your daughter um wasn't going to leave you you know she should have but you know being rebellious but i do think that it's getting to the point where um she need to put her in some kind of facility that monitor that monitors her in some kind of rehabilitation for like trouble you um to get the help she needs and get the help around the clock 24 7 because this situation is not helping and it's not helping it's not it's not helping at all because it's going to continue to happen and it's going to continue to go on um, not saying that she can't do the same, try to try to do the same stuff at the residential place and, and walk away from, away from that because I didn't hear and seen kids walk away from that too and they got a chance. But 9, 10, that'll be the best place for her because she don't want to, you want to do what she want to do. And she's not obeying and being disobedient and being rebellious. Now, do I think as though that we're not getting a full scope of things. Not saying that the girl, a girl could not be acting out and got good parents. Because I know people that have good parents. And I had friends that had good parents. And they still did was bad and did what they want to do. So I'm not trying to say that it's all on uh, jazz or whatever. But where's the accountability for some stuff that I feel like something is missing? Something is def definitely missing from, the, from this situation. For real, for real. Because... If some missing, there's a lot of stuff missing out of this equation, and it's all the blame putting all the blame on Michaela, her daughter. I think it's how you say her name, but Jazz is not taking no accountability really at all for for nothing. Basically, we all know that we can. Some kids can be just just be bad because they want to be. We know that. I know that. Okay, but. There's something deep rooted going on here, and like I said, it could stem from um, be a genetic thing. It could be she could have been born with this, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it might not be on just it might be on just side, or it might be on the dead side. It don't matter. It can be on both sides, but there's something internally um, going on with her daughter that needs to be resolved and helped out 
before it get worse and worse, which is already just not getting any better, it's getting worse and worse. Because every time we come on here, it's a story to be told about her daughter in the situation. Um, that's good that she did not let that stop her from celebrating her other daughter. Because you don't let that stop you from celebrating your, your other kids that ain't did nothing. Okay? That are doing what they're supposed to do. That's not, yeah. So I'm glad that she still went on and did her party and stuff like that. And went and celebrated her even though she's going through the stuff with her other daughter. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know what y'all think. I think she needs to give me some kind of um, group home for girls. They're dealing with the same issues that she's dealing with, a residential life home or something like that. Because it's just getting out of hand, you know? Um, you know, yeah, it's just really, it's really getting bad. It's really, really, really getting bad. And, um, yeah, that's what I got. The prayers for her and her daughter, but something definitely is missing from this situation. A lot of stuff that have been taken out of it because... Jazz is the only one telling the story. You no, know, he's the only one on here telling the story. Ain't nobody else putting they two sent in. Her, her daughter ain't saying nothing because, you know, she's 13. So her daughter ain't coming on here saying, well, this is this, this, and that. Which you don't justify her being bad and doing what, being rebellious. But it'll put some points into the missing pieces that's going on. But anyway, on that note, see y'all in the next one. Bye.